Hi, I'm Kate Richberg, Director of Education here at Beeducation.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to coil wire using our hand coiler with round mandrels and oval mandrels. I have the hand coiler with mandrels here in front of me, and I have two samples of the mandrels that I'd like to show you. These are both five millimeter in size, and all of the mandrels, uh, the coiler actually comes with a variety of sizes. The oval mandrels come with six different sized mandrels, and the round mandrels come with eight different sizes. And the sizes are noted here on the end of the mandrel. You can see these are both five millimeter, and that five millimeter is going to relate to the inside diameter of the jump ring that you're going to eventually make with this coiled wire. You can see here is the oval mandrel to create an oval shaped jump ring. And here is the round mandrel that's going to give you your nice round jump ring. To insert the mandrel into the handle, uh, I'm going to open the screw on the side here. And your tool comes with a nice little screwdriver for just that purpose. I'm going to loosen it up without taking the screw out completely. You're going to insert the mandrel into the hole in the handle and give it a nice tight push so it's nice and snug in that hole. Then you're going to tighten that screw down with your little screwdriver and make sure that everything is completely tight and ready to go. Now the action that you're going to use with this tool is very simple. I'm right-handed, so with my right hand I'm going to hold the handle of the winder, and with my left hand I'm going to support the mandrel. And before I actually put the wire on the tool, I just want to show you that rotating action that you're going to do to actually wind those jump rings onto the mandrel. Each of the mandrels has a hole in the top portion where you're going to insert your wire. I have my wire and I'm going to insert it into the hole and I bend the wire down underneath to lock it in. Just like so. Now, I'm going to pinch the wire over the mandrel with my left hand and with my right hand I'm going to wind just like so and my left hand is controlling my wire as I wind and the coil is just forming right next to my fingers and you can see how I'm pinching the wire. The wire is laying on my index finger. I pinch over it with my thumb and then I wind, again this is with my right hand, with the handle. This is an 18 gauge wire that I'm winding so these will make some pretty good sized jump rings. You want to go slowly and carefully and if there's some gaps that appear in your coil, just go ahead and push your coil up tight up next to the top of the mandrel. And you can continue coiling until you've made a coil that you like or until the coil is large enough. To remove your coil from the mandrel, I'm going to simply snip the wire up at the top and slide my coil right off the mandrel. This is all ready to use to create some jump rings.